This is the most amazing green wall I've ever seen. It's incredible. This place is amazing. Look at this. It's out of this world. <laughs> The East Plaza project, it absolutely has exceeded any expectation that I had. Um, it is so beautiful, it is elegant, it's really setting a new standard for design and landscape architecture in North America, and then of course the Green Wall. That is a wow factor and it is not to be missed. It is the largest wall in North America. It consists of 3,590 panels and there are 28 plant species in the wall and the whole thing is irrigated with an elaborate drip irrigation system. There is a stainless steel framing, and so we hang that framing on the wall. This is the framing here, and it has little channels, and it's bolted to the wall, and it forms a grid pattern. And these are the bars that the panels hang on. So the panels are pre going at the nursery. into 12 by 12 squares. These are all stainless steel, and the framing is stainless steel. On the back side of the panel, there's four clips, and it simply comes up, and just snaps in place on the wall. And this is its actually an earth sculpture. Really what should come first is the land and the place, and the architecture and the landscape architecture should evolve absolutely together. I have to say, in this particular case, the landscape architecture has rather influenced the building, and, and so you get a building that has no straight lines, it's all curved and it's all pods and is part mostly underground. I love it because it feels very, very organic and it feels as though it's part of the landforms. And this is so much about Pierre and the woods and his, his concept of, of bringing in cultural um, influences from outside and yet doing it in a very particular and, and special individual way. It's taken influences from all over Europe and, and, and America and, and crystallized them in a very personal vision. And I think he would have embraced sustainability and conservation of water and the marrying of land and buildings in, in a really imaginative way. What's most exciting is, is taking the memory of a place, the personality of an individual who, who created that place, and then allowing the spirit of that to create something that I hope he would have been pleased with, but is absolutely not a copy of what has gone before. We want everyone to come out to Longwood Gardens and to experience our new East Plaza, but really to experience our ever-changing nature and all that we have to offer 365 days a year.